today we're going to learn a new letter. It is the letter D. Good. And the way that we make the sign for the letter D is we use our right hand and make a circle with these fingers. Do you see that? And then we hold it like this. That's the letter D. So let's practice A, B, C, D. See how you stick your finger up and then these you can see right through and we can make a circle. And D sound makes D, D. So let's look around the room and see if I can find anything. Um, the word um, dish, D, dish. How about the word dog? D dog. Um, the word dice. There's some dice over there. There was a basket with some dots. Dots starts with D. Um, the month of December starts with D. I think that's the only one. Um, quite a few, right? I'll put some other ones on the slideshow for today. So go ahead and go in there and see if you can figure out what the words are that start with this letter D or the sound D. The way that we're going to remember it is um, dancing dinosaur, dancing dinosaur, D, 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 okay? Dancing dinosaur. Okay, um, I don't know, I forgot to teach you yesterday the C -k cat. Um, so C makes the K sound and the way that we do the, um, the sign for it, cat, is we're smoothing out our whiskers. C -k cat, can you do that? You got some whiskers that you can pinch and smooth. And then dancing dinosaur, dancing dinosaur. Du, 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 du. Okay, let's go back through them. A, A, alligator, B, B, bear, C, K. Oh, cat, it takes a minute. D, D, and here's how we do dog. So I slap my leg. I snap my finger like I was going to say, come here, dog. Okay, let's try it one more time. D, D, dog. Can you snap your fingers? You can practice so that when we get to it, you'll be able to do it. Um, okay, so today, friends, we're going to finish, or, or we're going to not finish, we're going to do a book. And I'm not, I'm sure you're not surprised to see that this book is all about D. Let's touch and read the words. Are you ready? All about D. So, what do you think is going to be on this first page? Hmm? Oh, it's one of them that we talked about. This first one we came up with. D is for... Use a picture clue. Yeah, dog. So let's read it. Touch and read. So your job is to trace these, trace the D's the best that you can. Um, I'll show you how you're going to write them um, on the, in a few pages. But let's touch and read right now. D is for dog and a punctuation mark at the end. So let's read it one more time. D is for dog. Good. We use the picture clue to help us figure out words that we don't know. Or we could use the sound. Um, look at this one. We didn't think of duck. D is for, if we sound out the letters in this word, we could try and figure out what the word is too. We know D makes the D sound. U makes a, D, a, K, duck. That's the word. So let's touch and read it one more time. D is for so your job 
on these two pages is to trace and read the, read the sentences. After you're all done reading the book twice, then you can go back and color the pictures. What are you going to do on this page? What's your job? <laughs> you're getting good at being word detectives. Um, so you are going to, this says, it's the letter I, it's also a word, I can find thee. So remember, um, lowercase b's and d's are going to be a little bit tricky. So sometimes the way that I remember is if I write the word bed. The B faces that way, and the D faces this way. And so, B, E, D, or you can put on your glasses. <laughs> right? This is B. So I had a kid in school that would do this. A, B, C, D. So he knew from touching A, B, C, D, which way they were facing. So see how this is the D? B is actually this, but it helped him figure out that this was D. So any kind of trick you can use will help. Your bed glasses. All right, B, B, D. This is the B is the one with the pillow, and then the D is the one at the end. B comes before in the alphabet, if you look. Okay? So I can find D. So be careful that you're not choosing, like this one is not a D. It's facing the wrong way. That's the belly. Remember, B belly. Um, D wears diapers. That's his, um, his backside. So see how he has a diaper on that side? That's his D for diaper. All right, now, that's I can find the, we read it one more time. That's definitely the word I can find the. The next thing you're going to do, my friend, is write the letter D, both uppercase and lowercase, so I can write D. The way that you're going to write an uppercase D, do you see how it comes all the way up to the headline? Straight line down to the foot line. So that's what I, how I start. And then I pick up because I start at the top. And then I come back up to the top and I curve out and come back down together with my straight line down um, at the foot line. I curve out and back down. Straight line down, curve out. Down, curve out and down. Straight line down, out and down. Straight line down, curve out and down. D is the same way as B, except for it's backwards. Straight line down, go tick, tick, tick. Curve back around and connect back up with your straight line. Straight line down, tick, tick, tick up that same line until you're almost to the belt line and then you make you start to make a circle around but you stop when you get to um, the straight line straight line down tick 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 right before you get to the belt line you want to start curving out and down straight line down tick 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 stop out and down Hmm, which one's my favorite? I'll make one more. Uh, two more. I like that one. Okay. Sometimes it takes a while to really focus and work your hardest to make your best D. That's okay. That's the way we learn how to make our best letters. Do your best and feel good about your letters. Don't just hurry through them and say, I'm done. Feel good about your letter, because it's going to be important. I can write thee. Why would it be important?
important to be a good writer? Can anybody think of a reason why it would be a good re good idea to be work hard on your letters and be a good writer? Let me show you. So let's say I am writing you a note and I say, dear class, I will be right back. Can you tell what that says? <laughs> no, because it's not really letters. I didn't work very hard. I was just scribbling. So what you want to do is make sure that you form your letters so that when people read what you write, they know what you're saying, okay? And this is the time to practice because if you practice that way, then when you're not even thinking about it, a lot of times you'll start to write um, the way that you've practiced. So I believe in you, you're gonna be great writers. Okay, um, one more time. I'm uh, gonna do this last page. I can type D. So it's your job to find the letter D. And it is right there. So you would color that in. A, S, D. And there's C. So it was A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> so you're going to get it. I know you will. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.